Hey guys, so this week we are going to begin looking at singular possessive nouns. So we have talked about nouns before, but um, now we're going to be looking at possessive nouns. And I will tell you all about that in just a little bit. So first thing, let's do a review. What are nouns? Go ahead and tell me in the box. You should have said that nouns are people, places, animals, or things. So we have a few things on the screen. They are all nouns. We have Abraham Lincoln, who is a person. We have Indianapolis, which is a place. A zebra, an animal. And a water bottle, which is a thing. There are nouns everywhere you look. So... The new type of noun that we're going to be looking at is singular possessive nouns. And singular possessive nouns show that one person, animal, place, or thing has or owns something. When we are writing possessive nouns, we added apostrophe and an S to form a singular possessive noun. So this is what we're going to be adding to our words the apostrophe, and then the S. So a couple examples. The alligator's hide is bumpy. So we're talking about the, the noun alligator, and we are talking about the alligator's hide. It is his hide, so we have to add the apostrophe S. The king's horse has a braided mane. The noun is kings, king, and we are talking about his horse, so we add the apostrophe S to make it kings. All right, let's do some practicing together. So on each of these, you are going to change the phrases by using the possessive form of the underlined noun. So what that looks like, number one says a coffee shop owned by Joe. You would say Joe's coffee shop. So Joe owns the coffee shop. So we have to put an apostrophe S to show that Joe owns the coffee shop. Number two says a hoof of a cow. So the cow is owning something or he has something. You should have said a cow's hoof. So you would do, you would have cow and then the apostrophe and the F, S, the cow has the hoof. The laptop belonging to Susan's, to Susan. You should have said Susan's laptop. So it is her laptop. So we're showing Susan and then adding the apostrophe S to show that she owns the laptop. The wings of a bird. You should have said the bird's wings. We are looking at the bird as the noun, and we are looking at the bird's wings. So this is, these are his wings, and we have to add the apostrophe S. Number five, the shoes owned by a man. You should have said the man's shoes. So we are looking at the noun man, and we're looking at what he owns, which is the shoes. So we show possessive by um, adding the apostrophe S to man's. The tail of the giraffe. You should have said the giraffe's tail. So we know that the noun is giraffe, and it is its tail, so we're going to say the giraffe's tail. And number seven, the art gallery owned by Lucy. You should have said Lucy's art gallery. So we know that Lucy is the noun, she owns the art gallery, so it is Lucy's art gallery. We add the apostrophe S to Lucy. Okay, so we're going to look at our paragraph for this week, and the directions say Martha wrote about helping a friend. Read Martha's writing and look for any changes she should make. It is called Lost and Found. 
Yesterday, Ben came to me with a problem. He had lost we he had lost him hat at recess. I told Ben that we should go to the lost and found to look for it. When we got to the lost and found, we saw so many things. There were at least 10 children's mittens at the top of the pile. Next, we saw one red boot. Finally, we spotted Ben's hat. Ben was so happy that we found it. So, what change should be made to sentence number seven? So, right here is sentence seven. Finally, we spotted Ben's hat. Should we change Ben's hat to Ben's hat this written this way? Should we change Ben's hat to Ben's hat written this way? Should we change Ben's hat written to Ben's hat? Or no change is needed? So the tricky thing with answering these questions is that they all sound the same. They all sound like Ben's hat. And we have to decide where the apostrophe is going to go. You should have said D, no change is needed, because it is correct the way that it's written. This is the noun, been, and it's showing possessive by adding the S, apostrophe S. He owns the hat. That is his hat. So we have to say Ben's hat. All right. So just as a review, Singular possessive nouns show that one person, animal, place, or thing has or owns something. We add an apostrophe and an S to form a singular possessive noun. So some other examples, Ben's hat is blue, similar to that sentence we just read. Um, it is Ben's, so we're saying that it is he owns the hat, so we have to add apostrophe S. And the cat's whiskers were wet after he drank the water. So we're looking at the cat is the noun, and they are his whiskers. So we add the apostrophe S to show possession.